Christian Eckes has been dragging the brake just a bit, exiting turn four the last couple of laps, and quickly sucks right up on the tailgate of the race-leading truck of Grant Enfinger. Four laps to go in Talladega as they rumble to turn one. Enfinger's going to play some masterful defense, or he'll have to if he's going to win this one because they are all lined up on his back bumper. The outside lane, no better right now than a side-by-side -side battle for seventh place. And that would be Stuart Friesen that will occupy that inside line. The outside line doing everything it can to get rolling. It's just not happening. All attention right now at the front of the field. Grant Enfinger, Christian Eckes, one and two. For the moment, Grant Enfinger is able to keep Christian Eckes at bay, but you can tell everybody is starting to plan their next move. They are genteely going around turns three and four. That's going to change over the course of the next few laps. At the front of the field right now, it is 16 trucks, all 16 on the lead lap, separated last time by by 1.3 seconds. They're all running right together. Bottom of the racetrack, nose to tailgate. The outside line challenge disappeared. One lap ago here in turn two when Corey Heim got hit from behind, got turned sideways. Everybody behind him had to check up. They had no choice but to fall back in line, single file. Leaders exit turn two. Grant Enfinger's mirrors are filled with the entire field. Right now, he's got Eckes at the back door. Lawless Allen, Taylor Gray, Ryan Reed, the top five, back to the corner. And in that top five, absolutely nobody stepping out of line. They are all riding that lower groove. Grant Enfinger drifts up so maybe just a little bit, but certainly not giving a good look to Christian Eckes as the field races off turn four. Everybody playing nice for the time being. Nose to tailgate again. Huddled up on the double yellow line. That's out of bounds if you try to advance your position down there. Two laps to go in Talladega. Somebody's got to go as they hit the banking in turn number two. So far, everybody stays single file. Now Raja Karuth will bust out. He'll go to the top side, back around 12th place. He's only got two trucks to work with him. Nobody in front of him is going to jump up there now. Here comes one more. The outside line is going to give it another run. Time is running out here at Talladega. Nobody in front of the uh, inside of the top five. Top six decide to go. They're all single file. Keeping an eye on that outer groove. It is Daniel Guy leading that group, but it may be a case of too little too late. It is still Grant and Finger as uh, Christian Eckes gets the left side tires on the yellow line of the apron. He's getting very aggressive. So too is Lawless Allen. Back off four. Back to the tri -oval for one more lap at Talladega. White flag is in the air. Daniel Dye has got the outside line rolling. Is it too little too late? Daniel Dye back around seventh, eighth position. He's got drafting help, but he hasn't got time. They continue to take chase Grant and Finger. Nobody's taking their shot as of yet. First side-by-side -side battle is for seventh. Now everybody starts to bail from the bottom of the racetrack. Halfway down the back stretch, half a lap to go. Enfinger now in first. Eckes in second. Lawless Allen in third. Taylor Gray in fourth will lead the outside. Here they come in turn three and four. It is a Grant Enfinger with a healthy advantage over Christian Eckes. Put it at three quarters of a truck. He is staying down low. Now he drifts up high off of turn four. Eckes has got the one momentum. So too does Lawless Allen. Grant Enfinger. Finger blocks the top, comes to the bottom. He'll block that. Here's a three-wide move, and now a truck spins. It's Tyler Ankrum. They're crashing behind him. Checkered flag is in the air, and Grant Enfinger gets to the checkered flag. The Fairhope Alabama native wins the Love's RV Stop 225. Grant Enfinger picks up the win with a severe crash. Right behind him, a bunch of trucks slide down and pound the inside safer barrier. Unofficially, Taylor Gray will be second. Daniel Dye sliding across the line third. Raja Karuth fourth and Lawless Allen fifth. Let's go to the Grant Enfinger pit. And you can hear the excitement behind us. Jeff Stankowitz is the crew chief for Grant Enfinger as the high fives and hugs continue. Jeff, what kind of accomplishment is this for this CR7 group? Not only do you win here, but you guys get to go race for a championship. Uh, yeah, that's a big deal for us. Uh, Cody Roball, Paps, Granny, they have put so much money and effort into this deal. Took a chance on a lot of us to build this race team and uh, to go win for them. This means more than anything. You see the emotion in Cody. He's over there. He's very emotional. Not only do we get the first win for the company, but we're going to Phoenix for a championship. So, uh, been a little embarrassed with our last three races in this playoff, but you know I think we we got trucks coming down the road. I think we can still win a championship. Uh, 
on. Man, I'm so happy for this team, this family. This is uh, this has been great. They got it done when it counted. Congratulations. Jeff Stankowitz and his driver, Grant Infinger, win at Talladega, but they'll race for a championship. Boy, what a finish it was here this afternoon across the line. Grant Enfinger scores the win. He punches his ticket to Phoenix where he'll race for a championship. State boy does good here at Talladega. And the crowd saluting Grant back as he climbed out of the trunk, stood on the hood, saluted the crowd, grabs the checkered flag. We'll talk to Grant in victory lane here shortly. Let's just remind you that as they came to the line, they were crashing and crashing hard. So the results that we have are unofficial other than Grant who uh, scored the win. Taylor Gray, Daniel Dye, Rajah Karuth, and what could be a career best finish for Lawless Allen, he was fifth. Downstairs we go to Steve Post. Rajah Karuth has jumped out of the uh, HendrickCars.com Chevrolet. Rajah, walk us through the last lap of that race. What all did you see? Yeah, I just, um, I took us out of it. There was speed. oh, actually, I want to see the replay. Hold on. Watching the replay here, we are as uh, the big screens are here. There you are. You're way up at the top of the thing. Oh, that got close there. Man, he's going to look at the right front of the truck now. He's going to look at the right front, and it didn't get anything. All right. Now that you've seen it, Raja, what did you see? I don't know. I just saw smoke. I just um, I took us out of it there with speed, and I just didn't get my brake bias where it needed to be, and I'm pretty mad about that because we were right there with the 9 and the 19, and um. Just you can't take yourself out of it and make mistakes, and and I, I did that. So still, you know, good to finish in the top five. I don't know what the points look like, but I'm, I'm proud of my 100cars.com group for believing in me. And, uh, man, just uh, wish I could do that again for sure. Everything is unofficial because of the finish and everything. Right now we have unofficially five back on the cut line as far as that goes. You're close, though. You've got Homestead and Martinsville coming up. Just kind of assess where you're at if, indeed, that turns out to be five points below the cut line going to Homestead into Martinsville. Um, let's take it to them. I mean, no different than anything else. I, I think in, uh, I think humbly in the trucks, nobody can, can run the fence like me. So I'm excited for, for Homestead and um, if you need to. Um, but I'm just I'm super proud of. Everybody on this uh, Spire Motorsports Chevrolet group, um, I'm thankful to Mr. H and Miss Linda and everybody at Ally for supporting me and, and wanting to be behind me. Just a uh, few spots short today. A few spots short today, but standing here with a top five finish, that's Raja Karu.